the entire Kamala Harris campaign relies on you knowing nothing about Kamala Harris. First rule of Kamala Harris Fight Club, nobody talks about Kamala Harris. That is the first rule. You must never mention her positions. You must never mention what her crap administration has done. You must never mention any of these things. And you must certainly never attempt to get to the underlying philosophy that motivates her politics. You must never, ever attempt to do that. Because if you dig a little bit, what you find is that the Democratic Party has gone so far to the left, so radically far to the left, that they are now indistinguishable from the Democratic Socialists of America. That is the reality. Look at the great intellectual luminaries of the Democratic Party. I'm not talking about the politicians. I'm talking about the thought leaders. Among those thought leaders is one Nicole Hannah-Jones. Now, you may not have heard about Nicole Hannah-Jones recently, because after all, she hasn't done any actual work for the last five years. She wrote the absolutely fictitious 1619 Project back in 2020. She was given a Pulitzer for that fictitious project. It is trash, the 1619 Project. The entire thing is rooted in the idea that every element of American life is built on the foundation of slavery and thus morally corrupt evil and must be wiped away. The 1619 Project falsifies history. That's not me saying that. That is professional historians like John Wylance, Gordon Wood have pointed out all of the flawed history in the 1619 Project, for example. But this supposed genius was awarded a MacArthur Fellowship in 2017. She is the apotheosis of a democratic intellectual. Well, she did a speech at the Equity Summit, according to Kimberly Bryant, who is the founder of the Black Innovation Lab and who is tweeting about the Equity Summit 2024. Here is what she said, quote, you know what COVID taught me? That we have enough for everybody. Overnight, we printed $6 trillion. We had universal health care. We had universal basic income. COVID proved it's possible. Now, if that sounds like communism to you, that's because it is communism. And you may recall that COVID actually ended up with 40-year highs in inflation, a massively spiraling debt problem, the complete shutdown of the American economy. You might remember that because you were there. But according to Nicole Hannah-Jones, that was amazing. That is what America ought to look like. It ought to look like the government paying you to stay home, shutting down your business, and then compensating you for shutting down your business. The government ought to provide everything for free and it will have no impact. Now, it's not a one-off. Here is what she had to say. This is back in June at the MLK Library talking about her trash 1619 project. Do y'all remember this thing called a pandemic? <laughs> y'all remember that? Do you remember how when all of a sudden all of America was experiencing what black people experience regularly? Right? High unemployment rates, housing instability, inability to access health care. We printed three to six trillion dollars overnight. Overnight. And all of a sudden, you couldn't evict people. Right? We had universal housing. Anybody who wanted to go get that shot didn't have to show a lick of paper, a dollar, yeah. nothing. You showed up and you got the shot. Yeah. We paid people income, universal income. My cousin Shamir, who's in the 1619 documentary in the capitalism episode, started working at 15 years old. The most she ever made was when she got laid off for COVID and got that check from the government to stay at home. Wow. The most she ever made. And she cried about it mm-hmm. because she was like, I have been able to save $1,000 for the first time in my life only because all these people are dying out here. Wow. That's the first time America cared about me. Free money. So the proposal is free money. Nicole Hannah-Jones, now I'll give her points for clarity. I mean, it's stupid, but at least she's being clear. There's one other area of your life where you need things to be clear. That'd be your phone line. Oh, yeah. Pure Talk will make sure that you have excellent cell phone coverage plus premium access to the media you actually care about. That's Pure Talk again. Might be the best offer Pure Talk has ever come out with right now. When you switch your cell phone service to Pure Talk on a qualifying plan, you get a free one-year insider subscription to Daily Wire Plus. That is correct. Take advantage of unlimited talk, unlimited text, 15 gigs of data, and mobile hotspot on America's most dependable 5G network for just 35 bucks a month. And you get one year free of Daily Wire Plus. The Daily Wire Plus Insider Plan gets you access to our entire library of movies, series, and documentaries, including Lady Ballers, What is a Woman, Mr. Bertram Foundations of the West, and more. Plus, you get all our daily shows uncensored and ad-free. The only way you can get that special offer is by going to puretalk.com slash Shapiro. I'm telling you for years, you're overpaying for your cell phone plan. 
If you haven't made the switch to Pure Talk, now is the time to do it. Go to puretalk.com slash Shapiro today. Switch to a qualifying plan. Get one year free of Daily Wire Plus Insider. That's puretalk.com slash Shapiro today. Now, you'll recall that the reason that the government compensated people is because the government told them they could not work. The government said you cannot go to school. You cannot go into your place of work. You have to shut down your business. They shut down the entire country. And then they had to do some things so that people could remain living and, and functional because they had literally taken away your livelihood, which is not the same thing as a high unemployment rate that results, for example, from high levels of high school dropout or high levels of single motherhood or high levels of dysfunction in the home or in the community or in the schools. Not the same thing. But this is the actual ideal. This is the thing that Democrats are shooting for. They won't say it out loud because if they ever said it out loud, people would recognize how ugly it is. The big problem with Nicole Hannah-Jones for the Democrats is that she's constantly saying the thing out loud. That's her saying. I want to know what Kamala Harris disagrees with Nicole Hannah-Jones about right there. Now, the reality is that the Biden-Harris administration has tried a lot of this. And 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 it's true that so many Democrats were enthusiastic about all of it. I remember a few years ago, Ezra Klein, he was deeply unhappy at the inflation because he said we were doing something magical. Had a whole column about it. We were doing something magical when you blew money into the economy, modern monetary theory, that debt doesn't matter. That when you did this, you you were actually creating a rising tide that was lifting all boats, but then it didn't work. And that was weird that it didn't work and upsetting that it didn't work. The reality is, of course, it doesn't work. First of all, it's immoral. Money doesn't grow on trees. It's not magically popping out of the ground just because the Federal Reserve says it is so. Money is merely a mechanism of exchange. Money does not have its own inherent value. Any more than inches have their own inherent value on a ruler. It is a measure of, it is a measurement and a a way of quantifying exchange. That is all money is. That's all it's ever been. But for the Democrats, for the Democratic Party, for Kamala Harris, the basic idea is the government can magically make money happen and then just give it out. And that's what makes the economy go. That is the basic theory of of leftism. When it comes to economics, it's the basic Keynesian theory. When it comes to how economics should work. And the actual result is people feel left behind because it doesn't actually work this way. Republicans are Nazis. You cannot separate yourselves from the bad white people. Growing up, never thought much about race. Never really seemed to matter that much. At least not to me. Am I racist? I would really appreciate it if you I'm trying to learn. I'm on this journey. I'm going to sort this out. I need to go deeper undercover. They gonna say I'm racist. Joining us now is Matt, certified DEI expert. Here's my certification. And what you're doing is you're stretching out of your whiteness. This is more for you in this field. Is America inherently racist? The word inherent is challenging there. I want to rename the George Washington Monument to the George Floyd Monument. America is racist to its bones. The, so inherently. Yeah, this country is a piece of... White folks, white trash, white supremacy, white woman, white boy. Is there a black person around here? What's a black person right here? Does he not exist? Say I'm racist. Hi, Robin. Hi. What's your name? I'm Matt. Just had to ask who you are because you have to be careful. <laughs> Never be too careful. They gonna say you racist. Buy your tickets now in theaters September 13th. Rated PG 13.